Hey yo people. Hello, hello, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I know it's weird, you're seeing two videos today. <laughs> Besides that in my initial program. Um, as far as it goes, so I, you know, I, I uploaded kind of an emotional video. Uh, this will be a part two to it. Um, Cause that was earlier in the day and I was really kind of, I've been sobering up and detoxing. And because of that, I've been coming back to my emotions. As I mentioned, I've always had a hard time dealing with my emotions growing up my life was at least with my folks was always the belief that you don't show emotion you just smile and take whatever shit you have to deal with and you continue to push forward um people only value you for what you do for them and i've always stuck kind of by that my belief is those are my friends and those are my family or those who i call family at least are people that are useful to me in a sense those people that in an aspect have an extreme value to me um your future, what you achieve, will be valuable to me. So a good example um, is having friends like Wolf who can help me out whenever I need something as far as like taking care of the house or moving or whatever I need as far as engineering and stuff like that goes. Or just taking over to DM and sometimes do like this YouTube stuff for me. He doesn't actually do YouTube videos, but I mean like he'll help me kind of create content and come up with ideas. Um, it's nice having that kind of thing. And that's how I kind of see my friends. I don't see, I guess traditionally people see an emotional attachment. Um, I don't traditionally do that. I don't have that connection with people. Um, the way I deal with my emotions is I tend to bottle them up. And then when I, especially sober, um, it kind of just comes flowing out. So I've realized that while for some people they can handle that and deal with their emotions and like show them to people and be like open, I guess. Um, that's not really me. And Calvin kind of reminded me about this a bit. Um, that, you know, me going into my emotional like that was way too much, way overpowering for anybody. I, no one deserves to have to see that crap. Um, as my parents always taught me, it's true. You know, it's not about what I'm feeling in that moment. Like I could be hurting, like for, like I said last night, I was throwing up blood for a lot, for what I was seeing. Um, I should be in the hospital probably right now. Hell, who knows? I could be dying for all I know at this point. I don't even fucking care anymore. Um, and that's not to say I'm suicidal in the slightest. To make that very clear, um, I enjoy living too much for coffee. Um, <laughs> plus, I enjoy writing books, and I love doing all my stuff that I've been doing. But I've come to the realization that, you know, I just don't really give a shit anymore about that. I've... um. Not to say I don't care. Like, I do care, naturally. Uh, it bothers me that people can't deal with my emotions, but I understand they can't. You know, it's really hard to take in that much in one go. Um, and I think definitely showing off my emotional side is typically, especially for people who are so accustomed to dealing with me and how I think, it's very shocking, if you will. So... I've decided to kind of cut that out. Uh, I'm going to kind of go back to how I was before. I'm going to continue to take my meds naturally because, you know, the fluxetine really helps keep me kind of level, at least um, when I'm detoxing. Um, and I'm going to go back to how I was, you know, uh, a little bit harsher on the side of things. Um, more seeing my friends as they truly are. I mean, assets to be used. I mean, that's what it comes down to. And start seeing my relationships the same way. It really is kind of the th same thing. Like, it's not... There's no value in it for me if, or there's no reason to be there if there's no value in it for me. Same goes for the other person. Um, and I, you know, it really pisses me off when people call me out like and give me shit because of the fact. I mean, it does anybody naturally, but uh, <laughs> it just it lights a fire in me. I, I was I was angry for the last twenty minutes or last hour. I mean, I've been pissed thinking about this whole thing, um, and. It's really just bugging me no end. So, I've, you know, I realized, yeah, you're right. It doesn't, you know, it's about how hard I can push, how far I can get, and how high I can rise without my friend's help. They can use me, because they always will, because they are not strong enough on their own, and which is true. I mean, they're good people, but, you know, they're not as cutthroat. They're not as uh, emotionally detached, and they're not as willing to do the shit you have to do. Um... I think the closest person would be Wolf, but even he's to the same degree. Um, he still has his side of things. Um, he can't, he, he feels the stuff, whereas I turn it off um, and turn it on, I guess. And usually I do that by alcohol, but I'm going to try and work on doing it better uh, without alcohol. I'm going to try and become more like I was before. Um, so we're going to see.
it's it's a good goal, I think. Um, I'm still sick today, given I still have my fever. I've been it's slowly lowering, which is nice. Um, I've been eating, making sure I'm taken care of, um, and slowly getting work done. No working out, no going outside um, today. Just had some pizza. Uh, you know, my one cheat meal, it sucks. I have to start over tomorrow, but you know what? It's better if I'm, unhe- if I'm not feeling well to just get that in. So, but yeah, um, I'm a little irritated right now about the whole thing, but you know, don't matter. Um, if you're watching this on Twitch right now, uh, just as a heads up, I upload these the day after they go up on YouTube onto Twitch. So feel free to go check them out on YouTube if you want to catch it day of. Um, and if you're watching this day of on YouTube, Make sure to go check out my Twitch channel, because I'm probably streaming Stellaris right now. Um, And check out tomorrow when I start playing Crusader Kings 3 um, with the new flavor pack, which I'm really excited about. Um, And I think I'm going to start working back up with the mead business. I'm going to be looking at starting that here probably this next week. Um, I'll start getting the yeast I need. Um, Start collecting the fruit and kind of figuring all that stuff out. And hopefully I'll have a couple of gallons going by the end of next month is the goal. Um, So I'll do some streaming for that. Uh, my motherboard shows up on Wednesday, so that's good news. So we'll have that um, coming up. So that'll be kind of fun. So whatever I do on Twitch for the CK3 um, stream, if you're watching this day- today, will be only um, just a little taste because I'll be working on the motherboard anyway. So, you know, got to make sure all that works. Um, and yeah, that's how this is going to go. So um, we're going to go from there and call it good. I hope you guys understand and appreciate the videos. Um, I hope you understand kind of where I'm coming from on all this. And, you know, I think I'm coming to the realization I'm okay with who I am and I'm done kind of changing because it just really is, it feels pointless on the fact of like changing my personality. I mean, I'm down for physically changing, trying to, I'm getting healthier. I mean, given today was a bad day, but you know, I'm sick. So at least I write that off. Um, and just, work hard so still gonna detox still gonna clean myself up and gonna still work out and we'll see how things go um this will be an honest series no matter what through and through and normally it won't be on my obs it will be normally on my phone as i upload the video so i'll be moving around and such but for today i figured i wanted to release this part two after i realized how bad and how emotional part one was which it really was just showing me in a compromised state if you will um this version is more of when i am healthy um healthy-esque, you know, in a manner of speaking, mentally healthy. (laughs) Let's go with that. So yeah, um, that's what we're going towards. So we'll see. Um, I will see you guys today on the Stellar stream. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be kind of fun to mess around in some vanilla Stellars again. So I'm excited. Catch you all there.